Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Firestone versus dealership. <coughs> I've only ever worked at Firestone, but I've talked to a whole lot of people in here uh, that have worked at, has worked at a dealership. Um, so, Firestone versus a dealership. This is going to be like the pros and cons of working at both. Okay, so you can so my first point here for dealership versus Firestone could be a plus but it could be a downfall depending on how long you work there of course um, so at a dealership you're gonna be working on one make one make of a vehicle so you work at a Ford dealership you're gonna be working on Fords all day long every day at Firestone you get a variety you get every every car brand comes in here so in a sense Working at a dealership could be oh, could be better because you get into a routine, you start to know the makes and models better, and you know how to work on everything on those makes and models. And the downfall is you're gonna be working on only Fords or only Dodge or only Chrysler, and it's gonna get repetitive and it's gonna get boring, and then you're gonna start to slack off and eventually, you just, you're gonna get sick and tired of it if you're working on one make every day, every week, every month, every year. You're gonna get sick and tired of it. It's gonna suck. Um, and once you hit A tech, you're gonna plateau and it's just gonna be hell, basically. Because at least starting out as a GS or a maintenance tech, at least starting out there. You have something to look forward to by moving up, like C-Tech, B-Tech, A-Tech. But once you hit A-Tech, it's like you're going to hit a plateau and you're going to wear yourself out. At Firestone, A-Tech, of course, you're going to hit a plateau, just like anywhere. Anywhere, once you hit A-Tech, you're going to hit a plateau and you're going to wear yourself out. But at least at Firestone, you have a variety of cars, so there might be a car that comes in that you've never worked on before, and boom, there's something that's new to you that you need to learn. So... In, in a sense, I think Firestone's better in that way, um, but other people can argue and say, well, I can flag more hours if I'm, st if I'm working on only one make a car. That's true, but you're going to wear yourself out more. Like, money's nice, but at the end of the day, if you don't love what you're doing, you aren't going to want to make that money. You know what I'm saying? Another, um, another pro versus con is this is a pro in the dealership is you're gonna make more money at the dealership. Dealerships generally pay more than Firestone. Um, Firestone, you're gonna be making a flag hour rate. You're probably gonna make up to the highest I would assume anybody is gonna get paid at Firestone all the way up until ATEC is like maybe $28 an hour, maybe. I don't know for sure, but maybe there might be people making more than that, might be people making less, but I would assume $28 an hour, maybe. At a dealership, you can make all the way up to $40 an hour. I've seen it. $40 an hour. Like, that's crazy. That's good. You make you can make really good money at a dealership. But again, it gets repetitive and you wear yourself out. You're not going to want to do it. But with that incentive, hey, you might want to stick around. Another pro about Firestone is... Well, no, more or less a pro about the dealership. Dealerships are generally busier than uh, Firestones. Firestones are just kind of where you take your car if you don't have a warranty on your car for the dealership. or if you, Because dealerships' prices are going to be jacked high as fuck. Like, they're higher than Firestone, and Firestone's expensive. So, like, Firestone generally isn't as busy as a dealer, so you're not going to be putting out as much work as you would in a dealer. Um, again, that could be a pro, it could be a con depending on who you are. Uh, it could be a pro depending on like if you don't really want to do that much work, Firestone. If you want to bust your ass all day and make a whole lot of fucking money, dealership. Um, a pro versus a con. Pro about Firestone this time is uh, Firestone pays for your ASEs. Um, no matter if you fail, no matter if you pass, they'll pay for them. You can try as many times as you want, they're going to pay for it every time. Because they want they want to see everybody get their ASCs, they want to see people move up, you know what I'm saying? 
dealerships, a lot of dealerships won't pay for your ASCs depending on um, what dealership they are. Some of them I know will, you, you, you'll pay for it and then they'll reimburse you if you pass, but um, a lot of them just won't pay for it. A uh, good thing about working at a dealership also could be you're certified, you can get certified within for that make of a car. So if you work at a Ford, you can be Ford certified or GM certified or, you know, Honda certified or whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can get certified and that looks really good if you're trying to move up and swip, swap in dealers every like five years or something. It could be really good in that sense. Certifi certifications are always a plus. Just tried to think. Um, Firestone, I, I do a lot of these videos that you see me do at work. They're just on the spot videos because I haven't recorded a video in a while. And I want to record a video and I'll do it in my car on my lunch break because this is when I have time to do something like a video. Um, but another plus at Firestone is there a lot. I guess it's all dependent on your manager, but from what I've seen, everybody's a lot more lenient at Firestone. You get away with a lot more. <clears throat> at a dealership, it's like you're riding on a fine line. You know, you gotta do things the right way or else you'll get bitched at. Here, as long as you get it done and it's done right, they don't care. Like, but again, it's all dependent on your management. Some managers will say that's you know, totally wrong. You need to do everything to the T. But the other managers will be like, as long as you get it done, you get it done right, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Con of working at Firestone is um, flag hours. The, the, the hours that they set for each job are, can be lower. Um, like, I know our oil changes are 0 0.3, so you don't make any money on oil changes. You probably lose money on oil changes because they tell you it basically should take you 20 minutes to get the car up, drain the oil, uh, basically a 0 0.4 if they do the courtesy check too. So you have about 30 minutes, okay, 30 minutes to do the courtesy check, get the car lifted, have the oil drained, change the filter, drop it back down, put oil in it, let it run for what five ten seconds and then turn it off check the oil level and then boom like 30 minutes like you you have to be going non-stop running literally running around to be able to do that in 30 minutes i don't know what it is at a dealership but that's that's fucking crazy that was just a little rant but um i know some of the uh flag hours are a little bit better at um dealerships compared to here a lot of people complain about here, saying that um, a lot of the hours aren't correct, takes longer to do something. Um, but at least here, uh, from what I've seen, again, it is all dependent on your management. Um, time can be boosted up if it took longer. Uh, I know some of our techs get a little extra incentive if it takes a little longer, depending on how long it actually took to take do that job. Say a job calls for two hours and you do it in four, but it was like necessary to do it in four, they're gonna pay you for that four. You have no, like no worries, they're gonna pay you for that four. But again, it's all dependent on your management. That's all dependent on your management. Um, pro about working at a dealership is some dealerships actually do provide shop tools and they do have shop tools. So that could be a pro in your case. If you have literally no money starting out, um, you can't buy any tools uh, honestly, either place, because that I was in the same situation. I had no money starting out. I had no tools, and I came here. My first paycheck, I just started dropping it on tools. Like my whole paychecks were going into tools, just so I could stay here and make money. Same with the dealership, though. Firestone, though, a lot of their shop tools, because they're going to say they have shop tools. A lot of their shop tools are going to be stolen um, or not working correctly. Uh, it all depends on how nice of a Firestone you're working at. My Firestone, not that great, but I love the people that I work with and I, I love the environment, so I'm, I don't have anything bad to say about this place. But like, like I said, it's, it's all dependent on management, honestly, because in, in the end, it's the service manager and the manager's job 
to order those shop tools or to provide the shop tools. Uh, at least here we get the snap-on torque wrench that's like $250, $400 off the truck. We get that provided to us, but at the end of the day, if we get fired, we have to hand it back in. Uh, so it's not like provided for us. It's it's provided for us to use, but not to have. You know what I'm saying? So in the end, it might be better to just buy it outright. But anyway, a lot of the dealerships will have shop tools compared to here. You're not going to find shop tools almost ever. Um, like I've said before in any of my other videos, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Even if I can't answer them, I'm sure somebody out there is going to be able to answer it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you in any way, please leave a like and think about subscribing. Thank you guys and peace.